So what I've noticed about the Pokemon content lately is that Pokemon content has been improving dramatically. And that's because they have competition now. I know that Temtem gave them a scare. Temtem came out and everybody loved Temtem. Everybody said Temtem was a good game. It was rough around the edges, but Temtem, everybody said, yo, Temtem is a really good game. Nobody really bad-mouthed Temtem too much. And then Pokey, Pokey MMO. So those two games right there scared Nintendo and <laughs> scared Nintendo a little bit with Pokemon because Pokemon was like at least three generations in a row where it was just like, yeah, it's good, but we need something different or we need, it needs to be mixed up. Like they were kind of using, they were kind of rinsing and repeating the formula for Pokemon. Yeah, add some new Pokemon, add some new gems, some maybe some new side quests, whatever. But it was like the same thing over and over again. And it wasn't, it, it wasn't, it wasn't interesting. It was starting to not be interesting anymore. So then Tentem comes out and then Pokey MMO comes out, which are like, you know, carbon copies of the Pokemon um, genre. But, you know, they have their own twist on it. And then the Digimon stuff started getting good too. And I seen a lot of people playing Digimon. I seen people playing the Pokey MMO. Then I see people playing Tentem saying it's all good. Now Nintendo has to do something with Pokemon and improve all their stuff. So all the Pokemon content across the board started getting better. Pokemon Go got better all of a sudden, where like they had um, stuff. Stuff was more more available. You can catch more Pokemon. Um, they did an update for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Everybody that that a bunch of folks liked. Um, Pokemon Unite just finally dropped for for the longest. Pokemon Unite. They were just talking about it. They were just talking about it. They were saying. Hey, you know, we're working on this game, but we don't know when it's coming out. All of a sudden, Poke like Pokemon Unite, okay, we're dropping Pokemon Unite soon, like this year. And it's like, uh-huh. So, and then now they announced the Pokemon Legends Arceus game, which is kind of like Pokemon MM Poke MMO. And then the the next thing we're going to watch, they they announced um a, a remake of Diamond and Pearl now. Mara Chino, what's going on? Yeah, all the Pokemon stuff improved. Everything across the board. Pokemon Snap, they came out with. So l l let me list all the Pokemon stuff that came out in the last year and a half. Like, they did, so I think Sword and Shield, they came out with improvements for Sword and Shield. Um, Pokemon Go, they came out with a brand new updates. and They came out with brand new updates and stuff for Pokemon Go. Pokemon Snap came out. And some DLC came out for Pokemon Snap recently. And now the Pokemon Unite dropped. And they're going to drop it on mobile next month. Then they're saying, hey, we're dropping Pokemon Legends. Arceus, which we just watched. And they're about to drop this. It's Pokemon um, Diamond and Pearl, which is like a remake of the, the, the 3DS game. So I'm like, all this Pokemon content improved dramatically because now they have competition. So now they're forced to innovate, which is what I always said. I don't like when there's a, there's only when there's a game and there's only one type of that game. For, so sports games is like this a lot. Where like there might be two basketball games, two football games, whatever. So when there's only one, I'd be like, ah, see now that game, the quality of that game's gonna go down because they're gonna get lazy. That's what happened with that's what's happening with Madden and that's what's happening with NBA two NBA two K. Both of those games, the quality of those games is, is has been called into question now because um there's no competition for NBA two K because the only the, the only other people that can do it is EA and for some reason they're 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 not getting their act together. Um Madden, they have exclusive rights to make a simulation football game. So nobody else wants to make, nobody wants us, can even make one if they wanted to. So they only show in town. And the quality of their game has dramatically decreased. Um, right now, um, the only baseball game right now is MLB The Show. And MLB The Show, I've played a bunch of times. Like, the last one I played was maybe 20, the, the MLB The Show 20. I think 22 is about to come out. 
that was a great game. I played the 15. The first time I played, I played 15 a lot. The 2015 one, I played that a whole lot. I played that one of the few baseball games that I played. And that game was really good. But it had competition. It had the 2K version of MLB, MLB 2K. They had like their own thing. But they stopped making their baseball game. So now MLB The Show's only show in town. So now I'm like, it just happened with that game where they be where now they're the only one making a baseball game. It only happened last year. But in the next four to five years, people are going to compl- The baseball fans are going to complain about that game. I'm telling you, it always happens. When, it's not com- when there is no competition, not anymore. That license has ran out for EA NFL or where? They didn't renew it? They might renew it, though, because they've been paying them mm-hmm. for years. The NFL, like, for them not to have the license, they had to say, they ha- they pretty much have to tell EA we're not taking your money. Cause that's what the NBA did. What, that's what the NBA did, where 2K, um, 2K games wanted to be the exclusive game for, for basketball, and the NBA said, no, we're not taking your money on that. Like, that's what... The NFL would have to do. The players' union and the owners would have to say, nah, we're not going to take your money on that. We want to see if somebody else is going to make a game. So, NFL, NFL declined the first and second offer. Oh, so, whew. Somebody could swoop in and make a game. 2K. 2K could come back. To NFL 2K could come back. They said they are working on a football game, but it's not a simulation football game. So... We will see what happens. We will see what happens because there's a there's a there's a lot of that going on where there needs to be competition. Like even FIFA doesn't have competition really. Like because I think FIFA there is there is another soccer game called Pro Elite Soccer, but they don't have all the te- like they don't have all the good teams. They kind of have like the lower tier teams in soccer, where FIFA has like all the elite teams, and I think. Pro League Soccer took one of the best teams in soccer, and and they're only on their game now. So they took one of the best soccer clubs, I think, and said, "Hey, um, we want you, we we'll pay you for the exclusive rights for you to be in our game. Like you can only be in our game." So it t- kind of poached them from FIFA a little bit, just the one team, and I think it's one of the teams that everybody likes too. Can't remember the name of the team right now. But it's one of the soccer teams where people was like, "Oh snap, they got them!" So, pro. So there's competition with the, with, at least with the soccer games. But you no, know, everybody's like, hey, FIFA is kind of like the game that people play as far as soccer. But there's another game, and if FIFA falls flat on its face one day, you no, know, everybody's like, "Yeah, we're gonna play the other game and see what's up." For a lot of sports games, that isn't the case. Like there's only like one game that folks play. So. And I said, you need that competition. Even, for instance, we can just do this, get as simple as this. This is an iPhone. And this is an Android. I've seen people say, I wish there was only one or the other. I've seen people say that. Like, yo, I wish it was only... I'm going on rants now. I was like, I wish there was only iPhone, or I wish there was only Android, because the other one sucks. Like, so the, the app Android sucks, or Apple sucks, and I'm like, I don't want neither one to go. I don't want, I don't want either one to sink. And I'm a bigger Android fan. I'm a big Android fan. Like, I, I primarily use, um, I primarily like using Android. Now, I have an iPhone. Only because Kid Danger has an iPad and she likes to text me and FaceTime. Me. Only reason why I have an iPhone, but I have, but my, I also have an Android as well. And what I tell people all the time is like, look, I don't want either one to sync because that means the other one's gonna get lazy. And they're like, what you mean? I was like, yo, I'm telling you, if Android goes away or iPhone goes away, whoever's left is going to no longer innovate. They have they would have no incentive to innovate. 
Meaning your phone, our phones are not going to get better. Our computers, like, 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 people don't realize in business a lot of times why we get better stuff or we get, hey, there's a new TV this year or there's a new cell phone next year or there's a new microphone. Like, whatever products that you buy, electronic, like just any product, electronic-wise, it could be your clothes, it could be anything. It's because, and why there's a new version of it every year or every so, every few years, it's because of innovation. The, these companies are comp trying to one-up each other by making this one, trying to make their product better than the next guy, or trying to make their product as best as they can. And that competition breeds innovation. And who are the winners in that? Us, the consumers, the people that buy the stuff. So I don't want, and, and of course we all have smartphones, we all use smartphones every day. I don't want Android or iPhone to fall off. I want them both to still be around because that means that innovation will keep happening. The phones will get better. The phones will be faster. That you know, you can do more stuff on these phones, and, and it'll keep and they'll keep, and it'll keep growing from there. And we, as consumers, benefit because we get better stuff because the two the companies are trying to outdo each other. Now, when you have only one company making this one thing, like they don't have they they have no incentive to innovate. Once they like perfect. Once they get to the point where they perfect the product, we're like, okay, we know how to get this product working in this way. We know how to connect it to stuff. And then all we're doing is scaling it up. Then they have no need to innovate if they're the only ones making it, which is why I say, hey, y'all don't, y'all want them. Y'all want them to, y'all want the two companies to be around. Y'all want all these companies to be around. Like for instance, people, there's people that say, you know, there's you no know, Xbox and Sony and, and Nintendo. I'm like, they're all competing with each other. And you're just like, yo, you want them company. You, so people's like, yeah, I just wish Xbox would stop making games. Just stick to computers and Windows and all that stuff. I'm like, no, because then Sony's going to get lazy. Because right now, um, only people that's really trying to compete with Sony is um, it's Microsoft, with, it's Microsoft and Xbox. Nintendo's, Nintendo's kind of like in there. Nintendo's kind of in a word. Competition drives innovation. Yes, that's what I've been saying the entire time, Fire Only. Competition breeds innovation. And we, oh, and we the consumer, we benefit. I've been saying that this entire time. That's pretty much my point. Which is why I don't want any of this. Which is why I want another basketball and another football game. So the football games and the basketball games can get better. Yo, if y'all don't know, yeah, I'm a big nerd on here. Like, y'all see me playing Warframe and Final Fantasy and, like, all this other stuff. But I love sports games. I, yo, I grew up playing sports games, yo. Like, I played Final Fantasy and all that shit, too, growing up. Like, Final Fantasy and fucking all this other stuff. But, yo, here are the main games I played growing up. Like, for real, for real. Like, Madden, NBA Live, NBA 2K. No college football, the, the college football games, NCAA 2K and and um, NCAA football. I played a lot of those games. NFL Game Day, and you no know, NBA Street. Like I played like a lot of sports games. The wrestling games I played a lot. I played a lot of sports related games growing up. Street Fighter was one of my games growing up. Like I played a lot of. I mean, I played a lot of like you know, the Final Fantasy, the Brave Fantasy, Mushashi, um. Star Ocean. I played those Wild Arms. Like, I played those type of games, too. But, like, the sports games was like, yeah, I just want to play something real quick. It was usually a basketball or football game. Just popping in real quick. Like, like nine, like nine, about 80 to 90% of the time, I was playing, like, a sports game. So, like, I stopped liking the sports games because I was like, yo, these they not, they're not getting better. And they weren't getting better to me anymore. So, I stopped playing them. Like, I have NBA 2K1 right now. I have it. I played it maybe like twice. Just there hasn't been any innovation, man, with the sports games. At least the sports games that I love, Madden. Nintendo doesn't care because of its titles, because of its titles, and it, 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 it has the only home slash portable platform. Yeah, Nintendo, 
did something that was really smart where instead of trying to compete with Sony and Microsoft, what they did was I should probably change it to just chat. I've been on for about 30 minutes, ain't playing no games. <laughs> um, what they did was instead of trying to compete with Sony and Microsoft because like they're spending money to make all the technology better and drive the drive the and drive powerful hardware Nintendo never wants to do that what they did was okay we're gonna make something completely different and unique and carve out something for ourselves so now we're not even competing even though we are but everybody knows like yo we're doing our own thing over here we're not trying to compete with Sony and Microsoft and all that stuff like we're trying to do our own thing and they've carved out and then you know Nintendo has a strong first party title list of and a list of characters and a list of games that they can pull from, so that's what really drives their sales. Like they own Pokemon, they own Mario, they own Zelda, they own Star Fox, they own Kirby, Donkey Kong. Like they have really strong characters that they can always like, we can always make these games. What worries me about Nintendo is like the guy that work this one guy that works on all those games <laughs> Shigori Morinamoto and is the creator of Mario <laughs> of he's the creator of Mario Zelda Star Fox Donkey Kong he's the guy that came up with all this stuff one guy their most popular stuff one guy came up with it and he's been working on it since you no know, its inception so I was always like yo what happens when he retires what happens when he retires, yo? Like, I'm pretty sure these guys are smart and they've thought of like an, an exit plan for all that stuff. I'm just, I was thinking like, yo, what happens when he's like, yo, I'm done. Like, y'all gonna ride on Pokemon? <laughs> like, Nintendo, y'all really gonna ride on Pokemon because I, I feel like after he passes, one of those, some of the, one of those games is gonna be bad. Not, I can't say that because he's only 60. He's only in his 60s. But he might decide to retire the next 10 years. He might get to 70 and be like, no, I'm good. He might retire. Then y'all still got to make those games. Then I'm wondering, like, what's going to happen when he's no longer working on those games? I feel like one of those one of those guys is going to fall to the wayside. Nintendo's very slow to innovate again. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And, and y'all already have a history of being slow as shit. So I'm like... I feel like in 10 years, my man's going to retire. Yeah, so Nintendo, but that's still a long, that's still like another console generation before Nintendo games start getting bad. That's my prediction. In 10 years, he's going to retire because he's going to be 70. He's going to be like 70, 75. Hold on, how old is Shigeru Murray? I know he's 60 something. Let me look up his, let me look up his age real quick. I'm going to put this on the, I'm going to put this on the screen too, yeah, so I can see it. Shigeru Morimoto is the guy that invented all that stuff. How old is it? This is the guy that invented Mario, Donkey Kong, F Zero, all that stuff. Like, man, 1952. 68. He's 68 right now. Yeah, his birthday's. In November, November 16th. So he's going to be 69 this year. He's going to be 69 this year. He's the creator of some of the most acclaimed and best selling franchises of all time, including Mario and the Legend of Mario and the Legend of Zelda. But yeah, he's responsible for Legend of Zelda, Mario, Star Fox, Pikmin. Donkey Kong, he's responsible for all of that. And he's and he's been and he's and he works on all those games. Like all the all the Mario games and stuff that he's worked on. So what I'm saying is He can very well decide he wants to retire. Alright, yo, this guy's the GOAT. Give more I'll give him more the props. He can very well decide. That he's going to retire in the next five years. 
The next ten years, nothing. Three to five years. So he might decide to retire in the next three to five years. I know right now he's working on Breath of the Wild 2. They're trying to wrap that up. They're going to try to make another... What they should be doing right now is like... And, and Nintendo so far is is doing this, which is smart. I said like, okay, they need they needed to remake Skyward Sword. They did that. I really should just turn this to Just Chatting. Hold on, let me do that for Twitch. They need to remake Skyward Sword. I'm changing to Just Chatting. I didn't expect to go on a rant like this today. So, they need to remake Skyward Sword. They did that because the original Skyward Sword, there were people that they loved it and there was people that they hated it. And the main complaint was like, yo, I think this is a good game. The people that hated it even said, yo, I think this is a good game. It's just these controls were terrible. I didn't like these controls. And the people that loved it was like, oh, I love this game. This game's good. The controls, it took some it took some getting used to, but I liked it. So nobody really felt like it was a bad game. There's a lot of people that hated the controls for Skyward Sword. So I said, yeah, I need to remake Skyward Sword and make make it with conventional controls. And then there were people that was saying it shouldn't be conventional controls. It should be motion control. Like, that's the way it was. I loved it that way. I was like... I, the majority of folks I spoke to said them controls was terrible. Like they, they was wondering why Nintendo even did that. So Nintendo met them somewhere in the middle where it's like, look, the motion controls are still there. We got them. We improved them because you no, know, the Switch has better technology. We improved the motion control, but you could switch it to conventional controls to button controls. I was like, oh, y'all was smart with that. Okay, they met they met everybody in the middle with that one. Where they said, oh, we got conventional controls, so you can just use the button controls and be fine. So I was like, oh, so now Skyward Sword, even the people that hated it love it now. So now they need to do the same with Star Fox Zero. But they need to remake it with conventional controls. Because, th th again, the main complaint for that game was the controls sucked. And they don't know who... They was like, I don't know why they made the controls that way. They just said the controls were terrible. So they said they need to... So that's the next game I feel like they're going to remake. And I think after... So my prediction is um, they're going to remake that game. Finish up Metroid Prime 4 whenever they fucking want to come out with that shit. And then my man, then my man Shigeru Morimoto is going to retire. Five years. So... I think my man got two more games in him, really. Two three, two to three more games, and then he's done. Then he's probably not going to develop games anymore. Like, what, what's probably going to happen is... What's probably going to happen is he's going to stop developing. He's probably going to just be in an executive role in Nintendo. He's an executive in Nintendo now. When... Um, Satoru Arawata died. He cut. He took in tw in 2015. He took over in the interim. But then he just. But then he he told him, "Hey, this is not really what I want to do. Because I'm still developing games, I'm still making games, and I'm running Nintendo. I'm running Nintendo essentially. So, um, when they found somebody to take over the job, he stepped back." But in that interim period, like I think that was about a year or so, he was running Nintendo and developing games. Like that's crazy. It was him and your boy Reggie Fizeme running Nintendo, which, which is amazing. But yo, <laughs> I didn't know my man. I thought my man was like sixty. Like he, I thought he was on. The front end of 60, like he was 62, 63. My man, 68, about to be 69 this year. Yeah. I've been saying, Nintendo, what y'all gonna do when my man retire? Because it's gonna happen. Like, y'all gonna try to force him to stay on? Like, nah, bruh.